Well, I am sitting here looking at fish right on the bottom on my Lawrence Elite TI. Here's one, here's one. That one's got it. And another one, both of them. Got doubles again. Two shad out. And, and two stripers. I'm assuming they're stripers. Here comes one. These aren't big, but they're a lot of fun to catch. All right, he's gonna have to come aboard. Little one right there. This one swam out away from the boat pretty good ways. A little bit bigger. Yep, we've got a mouthful of shad. All right, we got doubles here. Another pair of stripers, a pretty good one on the left there, and a small one on the right. Let that little one go back right there. Show that one. He's still got a mouthful of shad right there. Here's what I'm using to catch him with right there. Thread fin shad, and that's about the right size. Decent striper right there. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're not keeping him today, so away he goes. I'm just out here on a big point, and there's actually scattered brush growing up off the bottom. I've never caught stripers in brush before, but I'm actually lowering these shad down to a level that's just above all that freshly grown up brush that grew up off the bottom when the lake was so low. In fact, I'll show you a quick shot of it here on the Lawrence Elite TI back here. But uh, you can see some of those are willows and some salt cedars and just some scrub brush. Some of it growing up as high as 15 or 20 feet off the bottom. And the shad are going into that brush. The shad are taking refuge in all that freshly grown up, newly flooded brush and the, sh the stripers and I guess large mouse and catfish and crappie and everything else are hanging around that brush just picking the shad off and we're just lowering the shad right down to the top of that brush and boy they are nailing it and I can actually see them on my graph up here it's a lot of fun okay so that tells you when a lake comes up in your area go find that newly flooded brush especially if the lakes come up 20 or 30 or 40 feet like some of these lakes in Texas have and you can fish just above them and catch a lot of fish.